I just had the most incredible fossil dive in the Gulf of Mexico. Come along with me as I find these ancient fossilized Colombian mammoth teeth. All right, I'm with my good friend Justin Borstein. We are here to hunt for Megs today. I always do good with this guy. He is a great dive partner, a great friend, and we are stoked to get on some teeth. But I bet something cool is gonna be found today and I am excited to get out there. Justin is scanning the bottom right now. We're looking for anomalies on the bottom that might make it favorable for a place to hold teeth. You have gravel patches. It can be a good area to find shark teeth. We spend a lot of time cruising around, a lot of time exploring and not finding. When you get on an area that hasn't been hit or has been freshly turned over by a storm, it can be so good and that's what we're hoping for a big part of each trip that we do whether we're in a river or whether we're in the ocean a lot of it's exploring trial and error maybe a six inch meg, maybe a six inch meg fingers crossed we don't find many in venice justin and i have picked our spot we haven't been to this location we are excited uh the water's still a little bit chilly but the viz looks really good which is always amazing because we are used to diving in very dark water. So we're about to drop down. We're going to scout and hopefully come back to the boat with some large teeth. Justin is using some serious gear, but at the end of the day, you also have to know what you're doing. And he has both gear and he knows what he's doing. And a little bit of luck. And a little bit of luck and a lot of skill. All right, I better get suited up. See you down there. So I found three Megalodon teeth on that last dive. Justin didn't find any, so needless to say, we're moving. That's not a very good spot. It was beautiful, but there should be a lot more fossils there. So that's part of the game. Keep exploring.
All right, the second dive was better. I scored two Colombian mammoth teeth. These things are a lot heavier than they look. This is probably 11 or 12 pounds. This is an Ice Age fossil uh, from the Pleistocene epic of Florida. And I'll tell you what, when this cleans up, this is going to be a beautiful tooth. And then I got this guy pretty close by. Um, another Ice Age fossil just again a reminder of of times past not that long ago this was dry land you can see what we have now a beautiful gulf of mexico so look at this thing Roar! <laughs> i was so stoked to see this justin how'd you do on that dive not bad some small mags but nothing amazing yeah, I got some small megs too. Nothing killer. These are definitely, this might be my find of the day. This is a big tooth. Um, and I love finding mammoth teeth. So we might stay here and see if we can find a couple more. Where there's one, there's usually two. And where there's two, there's usually a bunch. All right, gonna get back after it. Was dive number three I don't know what's happening today but I'm having an incredible day for Ice Age fossils this is another Colombian mammoth tooth this thing probably weighs 15 pounds okay, but right next to it was yet oh, another biggie look at this tooth another Colombian mammoth tooth I am having a very blessed day these teeth are amazing look at that there's the chewing surface. Four Colombian mammoth teeth so far today. Absolutely incredible. Hopefully some big megs. So excited. All right, here we go. Tank number four. Woohoo!
That was an awesome final dive. And what an incredible day of diving. So many cool fossils found. Ice Age Columbian mammoth teeth, and of course, my favorite, Megalodon shark teeth. This is a beautiful tooth I picked up on my last dive, but look at this. I'm pretty sure that this broken tooth is gonna measure six inches, which is huge for the Gulf of Mexico, and I'm really excited about that. So I've got this one. I'm just gonna dump all these out. <laughs> all right, so here's the incredible thing. Um, all of these teeth are pretty good size, but when you have the massive broken tooth that I found in the middle, uh, it sort of dwarfs everything and makes them all look small. Take a look at that. Are you kidding me? Can you imagine the size of this shark? This came from a 60 foot shark. If you've liked what you've seen today and you wanna see more of my fossil adventures, please like and subscribe.